Okay. Cap of the Com. Capcom. So, is this the first Capcom game we've ever played? Uh, Do I get an intro of any kind? Or? This might be. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> well. <laughs> hi, everyone. You might notice a new voice. Hi. Sarah has entered the fray. My name is Sarah. Sarah without an H. I am happy to be joining you guys. Yay. Anyway, we're uh, we're playing a Capcom game today, and we have Sarah joining us because one, uh, she's going to be helping us, and two, she's never seen the game at all. So. Yeah, never. I'm, I'm actually very excited to see Sarah experience this game um, for the first time because it is personally close to my heart. It's the A button game. I love the I love the A button game. <laughs> Absolutely love the button. Very Yay! Curious. Yeah, Phoenix so we're Wright. playing Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. This is the trilogy title screen, but we're only going to focus on the first game. <laughs> for now. For now, for now. Uh, just yeah. going to do a quick little Screen check shake check. on! Oh, hell yeah. It, needs to, it has to be on. It has to be on. That's good. I like that. I like that it has that no, option. No, th there shouldn't be an option. <laughs> Why the hell what would is, you turn it off? What does that do? I don't it the screen it when creates it's drama when appropriate. Don't worry, it'll yeah. be great. Okay. All right. <laughs> it's gonna be great. All right, let, let, let's just get in there. But you can see that it has all all three. Oh, that's awesome! Each one has its own screen. Mm -hmm. I like that. Okay. And but it is actually kind of weird oh. because you start off with like a uh, case um, covers, like gives you like a movie poster for each case. I like that. Yeah, I like I'm the cool movie poster. So uh, let's not pay too much attention. This gives all. This gives away stuff. <laughs> Yeah, don't look at it, Sarah. Don't look at it okay. at all. No, now, no, no, no. now you look. Now you look. Okay. Oh, man. What? This looks like blood. Wait, okay. If who's playing? Oh, right. You, okay. Dan is playing all the male characters. Sarah's playing all the female characters. And you're Phoenix. And I mean playing Phoenix. Yes. Damn it. Why me? I can't get caught. Not like this. Okay, I've got to find something to pin this on. <laughs> Someone like that asshole. <laughs> I'll make it look like he did it. Hey, down. Yeah. I have a chalk around my head for some reason. <laughs> yeah, what is that? <laughs> I think it's a mole. Oh, I'm not going to bother reading out ball. dates and times. Yeah, we don't fucking we don't care about that stuff. Yeah. Oh, this this is the best waiting for a trial song Phoenix. in the series. Yeah. Boy, Wait. am I nervous. He's thinking because it's in blue. That's you, okay. Sarah. Okay, right. this is a girl. Yeah. Oh, wow. Hey, Sarah. Phoenix, it's you. Oh, 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 hi, chief. <laughs> Ew, I'm glad I made it on time. Well, I have to say, Phoenix, I'm impressed. Not everyone takes on a murder trial right off the bat like this. Dang. I'm good looking. <laughs> <laughs> it says a lot about you and your client as well. Nice. Um, thanks. Actually, it's because I owe him a favor. What was that, Sarah? A favor? Okay. She's like kind of, she's kind of flirtatious in general. Yeah, she's kind of hitting on you. <laughs> yeah. Which works, I guess. Oh, crap. Ah. Uh, yes. I, I, I it's okay. Sorry. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Things like that will happen. <laughs> yes. <All right. laughs> Actually, I kind of owe my current job to him. He's one of the reasons I became an attorney. Well, that's news to me. I want to help him out any way I can. I just really want to help him. I owe him that much. Wow. It's <laughs> over. <laughs> My life, everything, it's all over. Is that your client screaming over there? Yeah, it's him. Death, despair, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> Sounds like he wants to die. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Nick. Hey, hey there, Larry. Like, dude, I'm so guilty. <laughs> Tell him I'm guilty. He is totally like shaggy. Give me the death sentence. <laughs> I ain't afraid to die. <laughs> what? What's wrong, Larry? 
No, you don't don't mimic me. <laughs> it's all over. I'm like, I'm finished, dude. I'm finished. I can't live in a world without her. I can't. Who, who took her away from me, Nick? Who did this? Oh, Nick, you gotta tell me. Who took my baby away? Hmm. <sighs> person responsible for your girlfriend's death? The newspapers say it was you. Oh, shit. Hmm. Shit. My name is Phoenix Wright. Here's the story. My first case is a fairly simple one. Oh. A young woman was killed in her apartment. The guy they arrested was the unlucky sap dating her. That's me! <laughs> Larry Butts. My fa my best friend since grade school. Really? <laughs> yeah. He Our keeps school had company. a saying. <laughs> when someone something smells, it's usually the butts. What? In the, in the 23 years I've known him, it's usually been true. He has a knack for getting himself in trouble. One thing I can say, though, it's usually not his fault. He just has terrible luck. But I know better than anyone that he's a good guy at heart. I don't know, man. That, and I owe him one, which is why I took the case, to clear his name. And that's just what I'm gonna do. I know, Phoenix. Uh, <laughs> Larry's kind that of a creep. Sound, that doesn't sound legal. Larry's kind <laughs> of a creep. There's a ton of things in this game where you're gonna be like, that's not legal. No, <laughs> no don't spoil things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm excited to hear you judge. <laughs> Court is now in session <laughs> for the trial of Mr. Larry Butts. <laughs> I like that he's a southern gent. Yeah. That's good. Well, I'm gonna try... Okay, pain in his objection voice sounds like Yeah, code. he's very shrill. Yeah. yeah. The prosecution is ready! <laughs> <laughs> he's just toad again! <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> the, um, defense is ready, your honor. <clears throat> Mr. Wright... This is your first trial, is it not? Uh, yes, Your Honor. I'm uh, I'm a little nervous. Really? Your conduct during this trial will decide the fate of your client. Murder is a serious charge. For your client's sake, I hope you can control your nerves. Thank, thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Rat, given the circumstances, <laughs> I think we should have a test to ascertain your ready. <laughs> well, I don't think you're ready for a trial. This is yes. typical yes, Honor. court protocol. <laughs> Administering Gold. tests to people who've already passed their bar exam. <laughs> Hands shaking, eyesight fading, knees weak, arm spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> tests will consist of a few simple questions. Answer them clearly and concisely, if you please. Oh, okay. Please state the name of the defendant in this case Larry Butts uh, yeah the defendant well that's Larry Butts your honor what do you think I am what am I a fucking idiot See? that's a little insulting oh, it is pretty insulting <laughs> correct very good Mr. Wright <laughs> here's a sticker I guess I underestimated you <laughs> just keep your wits about you and you'll do fine next question this is a murder trial. <laughs> Tell me, what's the victim's name? Oh, shit. Uh, I know this one. Glad I read the case report cover cover so many times. Do. Oh, shit. It's... Wait. Uh-oh. Oh, crap. <laughs> I'm a terrible lawyer. <laughs> no. No way. I forgot. Really? I'm drawing a total blank here. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Phoenix, are you absolutely sure you're up to this? <laughs> You don't even know the victim's <laughs> name? <laughs> She's right. That's a really... Oh, the victim! Uh, of course, I know the victim's name. God, you uh, suck. I, I'm just... Temporarily... Uh. I think I feel a migraine coming on. Oh, no. Look at the victim's name listed in the court record. Oh. Look. Oh, sorry. Look, the victim's name is... <laughs> just press the R button to check it anytime, okay? Remember to check it often. <laughs> Do it for me, please. I'm begging you. Uh, uh, I know. It's uh, Cindy Stone. Cindy Stone? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, we should look at her. This is Cindy Stone, the victim in this case. Yeah. She was banged in an apartment by herself. 
<laughs> Wait, who is Mia? Mia is what? She's an attorney? Like she's what? she's like your 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 like elder attorney. Like she's like your boss. She's yeah, chief she, attorney. she's she's oh, a partner. She's a, my boss, a very yeah. good defense attorney. Yeah, let's okay. might as well go over the yeah, there you everyone, go. right? The defendant in this Larry. case. A likable guy has been my friend. So, oh wait, this is you saying things. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. It's great school. The, yeah. The victim in this case, a model. She lived in an apartment by herself. Winston Payne. Haha. <laughs> the prosecutor for this case lacks presence. Generally bad at getting his points across. Yeah, almost everyone in this in this series has a weird a little pun. pun for their name. Yeah. Oh. Get it? Winston Payne? Eh. Um, the victim's name is Cindy Stone. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> now tell me, what was the cause of death? <laughs> She died because she was a oh, crap. Hit with a blunt Hit object. Hit with a blunt object, yeah. Oh, yeah. That We could have found that yeah. out from the autopsy report and also the, all the cutscenes we saw. The autopsy yeah. report. She was struck once by a blunt object. Correct. You answered all my questions. <laughs> I see no reason why we shouldn't proceed. You, bear, you, you understand the case at its most basic <laughs> level. You are ready to defend your client. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I will not rip that badge from your lapel. <laughs> you seem much more relaxed, Mr. He's a Wright. nice Good judge. For you. He's, he's, he's like, he's trying to like ease him in on his first day. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually being overly nice. Yeah. Thank you, Your Honor. Because I don't feel relaxed, that's for sure. Oh my God. <laughs> well then, first the question for the prosecution, Mr. Payne. Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> Mr. Wright just told us the victim was struck with a blunt object. Did you explain to the court just what that object was? The murder weapon was a statue of the thinker. It was found lying on the floor next to the victim. Uh, I'm see. sorry, I'm just imagining uh, Toad being the prosecution Oh, term. of course there are lawyer Toads. They have an entire, like, <laughs> kingdom and everything. I uh, see. The court accepts it into evidence. That wasn't in evidence before. <laughs> nope. Even though it's part of the court record. It's rather heavy. Right. Be sure to pay attention to any evidence added during the trial. That evidence is only ammunition, is the only ammunition you have in court. Use the R button to check the court record frequently. Oh. Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its first witness. The prosecution called the defendant, Mr. Butts, to the stand. <laughs> um, Chief, what do I do now? <laughs> Pay attention. You don't want to miss the information that might help your client's case. I'm a dumbass, Mia. I don't You'll know what get to your do. chance to respond to the prosecution <laughs> later. So I've never be ready. seen it. I've never seen any trial before ever. Let's just hope he doesn't say anything <laughs> unfortunate. Uh oh, Larry gets excited easily. This could be bad. Look at this smug motherfucker. Why is he smiling? Did you see him twitch, though? That's a good yeah, little yeah. bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, I like these HD sprites. They're very detailed. Uh, I yeah. think he's guilty. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right off the bat. Is it wow. not true that the victim recently dumped you? Hey, watch it, buddy. We were great together. We were like Romeo and Juliet, Cleopatra, and Mark Anthony. <laughs> um... Didn't they all die? <laughs> oh, shit. Well, I wasn't dumb. She just wasn't taking my phone calls or seeing me mm. ever. Yeah, <laughs> what's it to you anyway? Mr. Butts, what you describe is generally what we mean by dumped. In <laughs> fact, she had completely abandoned you and was seeing other men. Dang. She had just returned from overseas with one of them the day before the murder. What do you mean, one of them? Lies, all of it. Lies. I don't believe a word of it. Your Honor, the victim's passport. Court to this, she was in Paris until the day before she died. This was probably oh, wow. a bad idea to start doing this voice for extended <laughs> conversations. <laughs> You're stuck now. God damn it. Passport added to the court records. Yeah, yeah. The victim apparently arrived home from Paris at 7.30 the day before the murder. Wow. Mm, uh, what about indeed. we just say all evidence descriptions are Phoenix saying it? That way you don't have to, all don't right. have to cover it. Yeah. Indeed, she appears to have returned the day before the murder. Dude, no way. Victim was a model, but did not have a large income. 
It appears that she had several sugar daddies. <laughs> All right. Daddies. Daddies. Sugar. Sugar. <laughs> Yes, older men who gave her money and gifts. She took their money and used it to support her lifestyle. Dude! You can clearly see what kind of woman this Miss Stone wow, was. Oh, what an asshole. A very smart Stone woman. woman. <laughs> what do you think of her now? Right. I don't think you want him to answer that question. Yeah, Larry has a way of running his mouth in all the wrong directions. Should I stop him from answering? Slam. My client had no idea the victim was seeing other men. That question is irrelevant to this case. It's true. Ugh, Ugh <laughs> winced in pain. <laughs> I'm in pain. Yeah. Dude, Nick, what do you mean irrelevant? That cheating cheat off. Oh no. Oh. I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna drop dead. She dog it, is a Larry. pretty good like step around though in general. That's true. He's yeah. When I meet her in the afterlife, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. That's <laughs> a <laughs> very weird threat, Larry. It's not really a threat. He's, it's just him going. I just uh, want to know what's going on. Larry is not making a good. <laughs> no, no, good no, no, no. Bad look. Bad look. Bad look, Larry. Ba oh, yeah. th that is his name, basically. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Let's continue with the trial, shall we? Wait a minute. I sh I'm I'm slowly turning into um <laughs> the colonel. Well, there's that. Jeff Bridges. <laughs> oh, do that. Oh yeah. yeah I'll I'll try oh, yeah. my best to do Jeff Bridges. Oh, now. do do your best uh, uh Cohen brothers but Jeff Bridges. Okay. Oh yeah. I believe oh, the accused yeah. motive is clear to everyone. Yeah, that's quiet. <laughs> you are not a beef. <laughs> you are yeah. not a beef. <laughs> oh boy, this is not looking good. Next question. You went to the victim's apartment on the day of the murder, did you not? Well, did you or did you not? <laughs> well, maybe I did and maybe I didn't. Oh my god. Uh oh, he went. <laughs> what do I do? Have him answer honestly. All right. I know. I'll send him a signal. Uh, Tell the truth. Th that's real courtroom that's signaling. The signal. <laughs> real. This is real courtroom signaling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Brandon. Brandon. <laughs> I was there. I went. Oh. Oh, this is big news. Order. Well, Mr. Butts. <laughs> Dude, chill. She wasn't at home, man. She's like, I didn't see her. There, that's a real yeah, objection. Yeah, yeah. Your Honor, the defendant is lying. <laughs> lying? It's a lying <laughs> The prosecution would like to call a witness who can prove Mr. Butts is lying. Well, that simplifies matters. Who is your witness? The man who found the victim's body. Just before making the gruesome discovery. Oh, wait. That was the wrong intonation for that. My bad. So the defendant it's fine. the scene of the crime. That's fine. Oh. It's fine. Oh, that's a that's a big <laughs> thing. All right, all in the court. Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call his witness. Yes, Your Honor. This is bad. <laughs> On the day of the murder, my witness was selling newspapers at the victim's building. Please bring Mr. Frank Saw It to the stand. <laughs> wow, Saw It. Okay, I get it. Look at this motherfucker. <laughs> I don't see what. Mr. Saw It, you sell newspaper subscriptions. Is this tar is this correct? Oh, oh yes, newspapers, yes. Mr. Saw It, you may proceed with your testimony. <laughs> Please tell the court what you saw on the day of the murder. All right, this is real ass gameplay now. I was going door to door selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing an apartment. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Thinking it strange, I looked inside the apartment. Then I saw her lying there, a woman, not moving, dead. I quailed in fright and found myself unable to go <laughs> inside. I thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone in our apartment wasn't working. I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. 
I remember the time exactly. It was 1 p.m. The man who ran was, without a doubt, the defendant sitting right over there. You know, I always imagined this guy having a George Takei voice. We can switch to that. I mean, I don't know. It's you're you you do you do you. Mm. I mean, but that's just what I always imagined. Larry, why didn't you tell the truth? Who is telling the truth? We don't know. I can't defend you against a testimony like that. Incidentally, why wasn't the phone in the victim's apartment working? Your Honor, at the time of the murder, there was a blackout in the building. Our phone's supposed to work during if the If it's blackout. a landline. Yes, Your Honor. However, some cordless phones do not function normally. That's the phone true. that Mr. Saw used was one of those. Your Honor. Oh. I have a record of the blackout for your perusal. Electricity to Mr. Miss Stone's building was out from noon to 6 p.m. on the day of the crime. Hmm. Mm. Good information to have. Now, Mr. Rat. Yes. Uh, yes, Your Honor. You may begin your cross-examination. Cross-examination, Your Honor? What the fuck is that? <laughs> Cross-counter? All right, right. This is it. The real deal. Uh, what exactly am I supposed to do? Why? Why? Why you expose the lies in the testimony? Why you expose the lies in the testimony the witness just gave you? She's shocked. Lies? Why? He was lying? Oh my god, Phoenix. Your client is innocent, right? Then that witness must have lied in his testimony. Or is it that your client really... Or is your client really guilty? <gasps> How do I prove he's not? You hold the key. It's in the evidence. Compare the witness's testimony to the evidence at hand. There's bound to be a contradiction in there. First, find the contradictions between the court record and the witness's testimony. Then, once you've found the contradicting evidence... Present it and rub it in the witness's face. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> Open the court record with the R button and point out the contradictions in the testimony. All right. All right. Here we go. Actual cross-examination. All right. So actually, Marvin, what, how, how do you want to do this? Because we could press every statement if we want. We could. Um... Do you want to press every statement and then we decide to go to the correct one? Or do you just want to go straight? Like, do you like a quick, quick walkthrough version? Um, well, there's always good stuff in the pressing. Yeah, we should press each one. Yeah, I'd, let's I'd press say, each one yeah, let's and then go straight to the one that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. So, I mean, I already read this once. I was going door to door selling subscriptions when I saw. Wait a minute. I'd said it in the other voice before. Yeah, yeah, I was going exactly. door to door, selling <laughs> subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing an apartment. I think you can just press those, and then you can just, uh, we can do these. Isn't a man leaving an apartment a common sight? I find it odd you would take notice of him. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. He just seemed strange to me. That's all. Like he was mad, and yet frightened <laughs> at the same time. Okay. Just like a criminal <laughs> fleeing from the scene of a crime. The defense requests that the witness refrain from conjecture. Lawyer talk. Of course. What the witness means is that the man he saw looked suspicious. So what happened next? I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Half open, you say? Yes, yes, the door was open halfway. Yes, I watched for a moment, but no one came close to the door. That's odd in a big city like this, I thought. I see. And what happened next? <laughs> Thinking it's strange, I looked inside the apartment. What gave you the idea to do that? Well, the door was half open, you see. Isn't it only human to want to peek? No, that's creepy, dude. We climb mountains because they are there. <laughs> no, it's the that's same very different. <laughs> what? It's completely consensual. <laughs> True words have never been spoken. Anyone would look inside. No. I look inside. Mm. 
Why did Payne cut him off so quickly? You, you think you're better than me? <laughs> <laughs> Why did Payne... <laughs> so I looked into the apartment. What happened then? Then I saw her lying there. A woman, not moving, dead. Wait a minute. Wait, shit. My bad. <laughs> well, no, I guess I wasn't sure she was dead. But she wasn't moving at all, and there was blood everywhere. Blood. I guess that would look fatal to anyone. Very well. What happened next? I quailed and frightened, found myself unable to go inside. So, you didn't touch anything in the apartment? Um, yes. I, I mean, no. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Okay. What happened next? I thought to call the police immediately. You thought to call the police. Does that mean you didn't actually call them? Please, please, listen to the rest of the testimony. <laughs> you thought to call the police. What happened next? However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. I went to it. Whoop, shit. <laughs> <laughs> the phone in her apartment wasn't working. Yes. I mean, no. No, it wasn't. Right. <laughs> but you said you didn't go into the apartment. Or did you? Oh, oh, that. I I can explain that. There was a cordless phone on a shelf in the entranceway. I reached inside, tried using that to call. And that phone wasn't working, correct? What happened next? I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. Why use a public phone? Well, you see, I don't have a cell phone. This your game was first phone, released right? in the year 2001. You're a salesman. <laughs> and being the middle of the afternoon, there was no answer at the nearby apartments. Ah, right. What time did you call again? I remember the time exactly, 1 p.m. Hmm. 1 p.m. Are you certain? Yes. Absolutely. Hmm. He seems really confident. 1 p.m. Right. Doesn't that seem strange to you? It sure does. Present some evidence to contradict him. All right. So now we know exactly. Wait. That's. Wait. Uh, that's all of it. There must. <laughs> examine the court record with the R button if something strikes you as being suspicious. I'm sorry. <laughs> Then find the evidence that contradicts his testimony and present it in the court. It yeah. The court. So, so that must be like there's. I'm sorry. I thought that, that was must the not last, be the time. Yeah, I'm sorry. I thought that was the last statement in the testimony. No, um, it's fine. It's fine. We know which one it is, though. Yeah, that's the one to, pre to present on. Oh, and if you this press was, on here, it'll auto go to the last thing again. Yeah. So uh, I don't think there's anything in there. Let's just yeah, let, fine, let's yeah. just present. So, so obviously, it's the fact that the the power was out. Oh, so he couldn't have called because the power was out, or like what? The blackout record. The building was out from noon to six p.m. on the but day. But he of the went. To, he went to a payphone. Yeah, but the then park. there's but there's but then there's no way. Um. Well, the, actually, this autopsy report contradicts the time. Yeah, it says time of death, 4 p.m. to 5 Oh, right, right. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. So like, that, it that makes sense that he it, had to yeah. use, that the phone wasn't working because he yes, tried. Yes, yes, exactly. Sorry. I'm, I'm like, I'm like mixing things up with my Yeah, head. you're jumping yeah. ahead. I'm jumping ahead. I'm sorry. So, That's yeah. going to be a is point Is that later. the thing that would? Yeah, so because that one, it says it, the time is three hours off. So. Yeah. All right. We're all in agreement. We're presenting this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Presento. You have to say it, Marvin. You found the body at 1 p.m. You're sure, you Okay, this is, this is the rule, Marvin. <laughs> Every time we actually object, you have to uh -huh. actually shout it. But he says objection. I don't want to block his objection. He yells objection in the game. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was 1 p.m. for certain. Bam. Frankly, I find that hard to believe, you Frank motherfucker. Frank saw it. <laughs> Your statement directly contradicts the autopsy report. Oh, this music. I love this music. <laughs> <laughs> the autopsy knows, notes the time of death at some time after 4 p.m. There was nobody to 
or no body to find ah, at 1 p.m. Everyone in the courtroom's <laughs> laughing. <laughs> this guy's a clown. How do you explain this three hour gap? Oh, that. Oh, uh. <laughs> this is trivial. The witness merely forgot the time. Objection. <laughs> After his testimony, I find that hard to believe. It's Mr. True. Saw it. Why were you so certain that you found the body at 1 p.m.? I, uh, well, I, gee, that's a what? really good question. <laughs> Great job, right? Way to put him on the spot. That's all you have to do. Point out the contradictions. That's yeah. a little oversimplified, Mia. That's how the law yeah. works. <laughs> yes. Point out contradictions. Lies always beget more lies. Okay, no, that's truth. <laughs> yeah. See through one and their whole story falls apart. Wait, I remember now. You care to give your testimony again because our court is very lenient. <laughs> that was fucked up. What? Yeah? Wait. We, we, have, we, allow, we have no we allow perjury little... laws in this yeah. world. We allow minor perjury. If you it's perjure... like, so you're saying you lied and now you're giving him a second. If you, if you perjure <laughs> a little too much, then we'll be like, that's a little too much. But this no, is there's just no, a little there's bit. There's no too much. It's a little bit. It's a little perjury here and there. You see, when I found the body, I heard the time. There was a voice saying the time. It was probably coming from the television. <laughs> oh, but it was three hours off, wasn't it? What? I guess the victim must have been watching a video of a taped program. That's why I thought it was 1 p.m. Terribly sorry about the misunderstanding. You're a lying motherfucker. <laughs> I see. You heard a voice saying the time on the taped program. Mr. Wright, well, you may cross-examine the witness. Right. You know what to do. I've got this I, one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> He's getting more confident. Yeah. Now we know. Now we know what's happening. He gets a rush from from confronting people with their lies. Everyone you does, though. <laughs> you said heard, not saw. More like Frank heard it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, heard. All I saw was the body lying there. I didn't think to look at anything else, least of all my watch. Hmm. Wait, he had a fucking watch? <laughs> I know, oh, what the heck? It's not a little strange. So you're saying you heard something, but if you were so shocked by the body, you wouldn't hear anything at all. That's a weird statement, actually. Yeah, um, Phoenix, it's objection. a little roundabout. The witness did say he actually heard the time. It's ludicrous to suggest he wouldn't <laughs> hear anything. <laughs> actually, it's true. Yeah, That's like, true. Eat that. Hmm. I have to agree with the prosecution. That was a pretty dumb thing to say. <laughs> Witness, continue your testimony. There was a voice saying the time. It was probably coming from the... Wait a minute, what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure it was a television and not a radio? What? Well, no, I guess it might have been a radio. Incidentally, there was no radio on the premises. We knew this fact. <laughs> there was only one large television. Right. I can't put my finger on it, but something see something about this seems fishy. Something about hearing the television. This is Mia, like just tossing out some breadcrumbs for him. She yeah. knows. Yeah. She knows what's actually. She's happening. already solved the entire case yeah, mentally like, in her head. <laughs> the witness is testifying. He heard the time. <laughs> Oh, but how do you explain the gap? <laughs> <laughs> well, witness, can you explain the three-hour gap? Oh, geez, uh, some that of the pressing like, it doesn't result in much, though. I, yeah, I they, they just need to put yeah. something right, and yeah, because you got to get to like the main points. Not everything yeah. can be important, but um, uh, uh, video. <laughs> Yes, that would explain why the time was wrong. True, true. Right. I think the problem lies someplace else. She's yeah, right. see, she, she knows. We agree that you heard the time of the scene then. Yeah, everyone's getting slowly, like, uh, fed up with us pressing everything. Yeah. 
Are you sure the voice you heard said it was 1 p.m.? Yes, I can practically hear it now. It was quite clear. Mr. Payne, has the prosecution verified this testimony? My apologies, Your Honor. I, too, have only just learned that the witness heard the time. Oh, I'm really sorry. I only remembered it just now. I'm very good at remembering. <laughs> Well, you just watch it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm, not much point pressing him on that one. Yeah, this is like, okay, this is baby's first case. Like, just do the obvious thing, please. Yeah, so we know what to present yeah. here. Um, on any of these, I think you can present the... Uh, the power outage? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. The power <laughs> outage. Yeah. yeah, we've had power out from noon to six, covering yeah, everything that you could possibly So nothing yeah, could have been on during the time of the crime. All right, no. here we go. This guy did it. Oh, something that uh, that was really nice about the DS version of these games is that had the microphone, so you could shout objection yourself to do Oh, this. yeah, you had to actually shout it. But you didn't yeah, have to, yeah. but you could if you wanted to. Yeah, yeah. Bam. Hold it right there, motherfucker. Yes. The prosecution has said there was a blackout at the time of the discovery. Mm -hmm. And this record proves it. Slap that paper. Slap. Bam. Oh. You couldn't have heard a television or a video. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, shit. Well, mm, the defense has a point. You have an explanation for this, Mr. Sawwit. No, I... I find it quite puzzling myself. Quite. Uh, wait, I, I remember now. Mr. Sawit, the court would prefer to hear an accurate testimony from the very <laughs> beginning. But we are very lenient, so you will face no <laughs> we'll, consequences we'll give you as many chances as you need. perjuring <laughs> as much as your heart pleases. What the fuck? These constant corrections are harming your credibility. But it does create good drama for this video <laughs> game. <laughs> that, and you seem rather distraught. Uh, uh, my apologies, Your Honor. Uh -oh. It uh, must have been the shock of finding the body. Very well, Mr. Sawit, let's hear your testimony once more, please. Let's just let you keep changing your mind. <laughs> <laughs> this is how courts work. <laughs> Actually, I didn't hear the time. I saw it. I, my that name doesn't make any sense, sense either. Again. <laughs> <laughs> there was a table clock in the apartment, wasn't there? Yeah, the murder weapon. The killer <sighs> used it to hit the victim. That must have this been what I much. saw. <laughs> I can't with this guy. I'm losing my patience with him. <laughs> <laughs> you saw it, Clark. I guess I will explain it. The defense may cross-examine the witness. Gladly. Motherfucker. Look at his confidence. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, oh we're, my we're God. Getting, if he okay. changes his story one more time, <laughs> I swear to God. Oh, but, oh yes. But hear this music? Final, it's getting more intense. It's oh. the final pursuit. Ooh. Ooh. That strikes me as a very suspicious mistake. <laughs> yes, I can see how you'd be a little doubtful. I am very suspicious. Look <laughs> at me go. My head stays perfectly still. I'm sweating <laughs> like that key and peel sketch. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I only just remembered that table clock. Table clock? <laughs> there was a table clock Novelty in the apartment. <laughs> Novelty <laughs> but he said he didn't go in. Yeah. A table clock? There was a clock at the scene? This is the first I've heard of it. How, how could you leave out such an important detail as there being a table <laughs> clock in the apartment? The, uh, the murder weapon. Yes, the table clock that was used as a weapon. That's what I just said. Did you doze off in the middle of my testimony or something? What? Something's fishy here. Yeah, there sure is. That must have been what I saw. Why didn't you just tell us that in the first place? You idiot. This Fucking guy is horrible. I guess it just slipped my mind. Sue, uh, <laughs> what are you going to do? Throw me in jail? <laughs> I'm not really sure how it happened myself, but, you know, brain problems. <laughs> the witness says he saw the table clock. End of story. I'm just going to jump in here and hope to win. Now, find the contradiction. All right. 
Uh, there we go. This was a this was a statement. I'm pretty sure. Mm-hmm. The murder. Uh, so like, because the murder weapon was the statue. No. Yes. Exactly. Um, like it wasn't a table clock. She wouldn't die if you hit her with the table. Well, the thing is, he thinks the statue is a table clock. Yeah. For so why some would he reason. think that? Because this is just a statue. Yeah. So let's present oh. that. Yeah. So what's going on here? Wait just a moment. The murder weapon wasn't a clock, it was this statue. Oh, what is this? Now, how is this supposed to be a clock? It's a statue clock. I'm uh. dancing in my seat right now. <laughs> uh. <laughs> you, with your objections and your evidence, just, <laughs> who do you think you are? It's how it just works. answer the question, Mr. Sawit. Hey, I, I saw it there, okay? That's a clock. Your Honor, if I may. Yes, Mr. Payne. As a witness stated, this statue is indeed a clock. The neck is a switch. You just tilt oh, it, I and it says it. the time out loud. As it doesn't look like a clock, I submitted it as a statue. My apologies. What? I see. So the murder weapon was a yeah, table That's how, that's how trials all. work. You can just withhold information until the last moment. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's, right. a, it's a statue clock? Yeah, yep. it's a statue clock that tells you the time audibly. Eh? It appears that the witness' uh, testimony was correct. I don't this know. is. I've never a clock. seen that. Do you have any problems with his testimony now? Hell yeah! Bam! Your Honor, there is a gaping hole in the witness's testimony. The only way he could have known the weapon was a clock is to hold it in his hand. Yet the witness testified that he never entered the apartment. How about it? Clearly a contradiction that everyone heard and knew. Why is why am I being forced to, to point this out? <laughs> why am I the only logic Indeed. person? <laughs> the witness knew it was a clock because he went into the apartment. You're lying. You were inside the apartment the day of the murder. Oh yeah? Prove it. Prove I went in there. I'll do better than that. I can prove you were the one who killed her. Oh. You struck her with the clock and the shock of the blow triggered the clock's voice. That was the sound you heard. Oh. Order in the court. Intriguing. Please continue, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Saw it. The sound must have left quite an impression on you. Understandably, since the murder weapon spoke just as you hit the victim, that voice was burned into your mind. Mm. That's why you were so certain about the time. Ah! What's the meaning of this? This is all baseless conjecture. Baseless? Your mom's baseless. Look at the witness's face. Yeah, take that. Mm. Yeah. Would the witness care to elaborate? Did you strike the victim with the clock? I... I... That... That day, I... I never... Look, I... The clock, I heard... No, I mean, I saw... Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! I hate you! It, it was him, I tell you, I saw him! He, he killed her and he should burn! Burn! Give him death! Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty intense there, buddy. Order, order in the court, I say! Your Honor, at a moment, please! There, there isn't a shred of evidence supporting the defense's claims! Mr. Wright! Your Honor? You claim the sound the witness heard came from the clock. You have any evidence? The whole case is riding on this. I better think it through carefully. Y Your Honor, the sound Mr. Sawit heard was definitely this clock. A fact which is clear if you simply try sounding the clock. Alrighty. Let's sound the clock now, here in this court. Your Honor, may I have the clock? I asked the court to listen very carefully. Look at this budget animation. 
I think it's 825. <laughs> that what? certainly is a strange oh, way to announce it. Because he's a thinker. Yeah. He's a thinker. <laughs> yeah. That certainly is a strange way to announce the time. Well, he is the thinker, after all. So, we've heard the clock. What are your conclusions, Mr. Wright? Mr. Payne, can you tell me what time it is now? It's 11.25. Ah! <laughs> As you can see, this clock is exactly three hours slow. Precisely the discrepancy between what Mr. Saw it heard and the actual time of death. Ooh! Oh, wait, sorry, I skipped your dialogue. Try right? to talk your way out of this one, you bitch. Dude. <laughs> you forgot one thing. Uh-oh, what is he talking about now? While it may seem like the clock is running three hours slow, it proves nothing. How do you know it was running three hours slow on the day of the murder? If you can't prove that, you don't have a case. Mm. Mm, he's right. How am I going to prove that? Damn it. I was so close. Mr. Rat, it seems you lack the critical evidence to support your claim. <gasps> yes, Your Honor. This means I cannot let you indict the witness. Unfortunately, this ends the cross-examination of Mr. Frank Sawit. Also, I find it somewhat strange that I could uh, ever allow a defense attorney to indict witnesses. <laughs> <laughs> I come all the way down here to testify, and look what happens. You treat me like a criminal. A criminal. You lawyers are all slime. Grr, I almost had him. <laughs> Sorry, Larry. I failed you. And <laughs> now you're going to be sentenced to death. Now you're... There's nothing I can do about it now. <laughs> oh, Except... no. Oh. Not so fast, Mr. Sot. Oh. Whoa. Mia. I mean, Chief. Listen up, right? Don't throw this one away. Not like this. Think. But, Chief, it's over. I, I can't prove the clock was slow the day of the murder. Nobody can prove that. Um, well, yes. But that doesn't mean you can't... That, but that doesn't mean you can't still win. Try thinking outside of the box. Don't waste time doubting the facts. Assume the clock was three hours slow and... Think it through. Ask yourself, why was the clock three hours slow? Figure out the reason, and you'll have your perk. Right, <laughs> right? <laughs> right, right. Can you think of a reason why the clock would be three hours slow? Yes. Now, why would it be? Uh, I don't know, actually. Wait! Wait. <sighs> Maybe I can prove it. Hmm. You must have the evidence somewhere that you I can prove it, right? Find it and let them have it. Well, Mr. Wright, you say the clock was already running slow on the day of the murder. Have you found evidence to support this claim? Of course. There is a piece of evidence in the court record that can prove my claim beyond a doubt. Ha! <laughs> Tough words. Let's see you pull this one off. Let's see this evidence that proves why the clock was running slow. Passport. Mm. The passport what would, what because it... the victim apparently arrived home from Paris on July 30th, the day before the murder. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what the, is that? The, she took the clock with her, set the clock to Paris time. That's the reason why the clock isn't three hours slow. It's 15 hours fast. Ooh. Oh. Do we know that? It, she took the fucking clock to Paris? The victim had just returned home from abroad the, uh, from abroad the day before the murder. As we all know, the time difference between here and Paris is, oh, it's the other way, nine hours. When it's 4 p.m. here, it's 1 a.m. the next day there. The clock wasn't three hours slow. It was nine hours fast. Oh. The, the victim hadn't reset her clock since returning home. That's why the time you heard when you struck her dead in, the, dead in her apartment was wrong. 
proof enough for you, Mr. Saw It? Or should I say, Mr. Did It? Bam! Uh. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. He got a stroke and fucking died. <laughs> he had a fucking aneurysm. Oh my god. Oh, what do I say? Well, that worked itself out, I guess. <laughs> well, this case has certainly turned out differently than we all expected. The victim is now dead. I mean, expected? <laughs> Why would <laughs> Mr. Payne, your witness? He, uh, he was arrested and has been taken away, Your Honor. He's somehow alive. <laughs> arrested and taken to the morgue. <laughs> Very well, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. I have to say, I'm impressed. I don't think I've ever seen someone complete a defense so quickly while acting so incompetently <laughs> and found the true culprit at the same time. Thank you, Your Honor. At this point, this is only a formality, but this court found the defendant, Mr. Larry Butts. <laughs> yeah. What? Oh Not my god. Guilty. Woo, confetti. Confetti. Oh, confetti. That happens in real life. Yes. Confetti yes. flies. To you know, they made a live action <laughs> adaptation. There's a live action movie what? for this game where they have courtroom staff throw the confetti. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if that happened in real life. That'd be great. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, confetti. you would feel so good in court. Yeah. You'd be like, yeah. oh god, yeah, confetti. Oh. Like, get the oh. confetti ready. Yeah, with that, the <laughs> court's adjourned. Yeah, we saved our grade school friend, who is probably actually a big creep. It turns out that Ooh. Frank saw it was a common burglar. <sighs> he posed as a newspaper salesman to check and see when people were out of the house. Ah, uh. that day. When Larry went to her apartment, the victim wasn't home. After he left, Mr. Sawit let himself in to do his dirty work. While he was searching her place, the victim returned. Flustered, Mr. Sawit grabbed the nearest blunt object he could find. Oh. Yeah. What a poor reaction. Like not yeah. not not even just trying to leave, you know, just immediately murder someone. That's terrible. Yeah, that's terrible. Yeah. Whew. Still can't believe we won. Right. Good job in there. Congratulations. Th thanks, Chief. I owe it all to you. Not at all. Not at all. You fought your own battles in there. Not really, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> It's been a while since I've seen a trial end on such a satisfying note. I've never seen the Chi looking this happy. If she's this glad, imagine how Larry must feel. <laughs> My life is over. Uh. Phoenix. Larry, you're supposed to be happy. What's wrong now? Oh, Nick. Don't worry about me. I'll be dead and gone soon. <laughs> All right. Good, wait, wait, no! I mean, bad, 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 bad. Larry, you're innocent. The case is closed. <laughs> but, but my Cindy Wendy's gone, man. Gone forever. <laughs> Larry, she was... Nah, never mind. She never liked you, bro. Congratulations, Harry. <laughs> Harry? <laughs> what? Harry? Who's Harry? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes, you. I can practically see the headlines now. <laughs> Harry Butts, innocent. Uh, um, thanks. I really owe you one. I won't forget this ever. Let's celebrate. Dinner, movie, my treat. Oh no, I couldn't. <laughs> hey, I was the one who got you off the hook. Oh hey. <laughs> Here, take this. It's a present. What? The statue? A present for me? Wait, wasn't this the evidence that... Actually, I made this clock for her. I made one for her and one for me. Really? You, you made this? Uh, well, thank you. I'll keep it as a memento. Yo, Nick. Huh. Can you believe it? I was so into that chick. 
fucking... And she was just playing me for a fool. Don't make... Don't that make you want to just cry? <laughs> Larry... Uh, are you... Are you so sure? Excuse me. <laughs> I'm from the 90s. <laughs> Excuse me. I think she thought quite a lot of you in her own way. Nah, you don't gotta sympathize with me. It's okay. <laughs> oh, I'm not... <laughs> oh, I'm not just sympathizing, really. Uh, wait, sorry. She said, I'm just... Isn't that right, right? Don't you just have something to show your friend? Something that proves how she felt about him? Uh, huh? Uh, oh, yeah, right. What the heck is she talking about? The statue. Yep. <laughs> Take that! <laughs> Check this out, Larry. Proof positive you weren't just some chump to her. Huh? What about that clock? This is the clock you made for her, Larry. And she took it with her when she traveled. Whatever, she probably just needed a clock, that's all. You think so? It's a pretty heavy clock to take traveling. That's so bizarre, this It can clock. kill a man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Literally. Well, make of it what you will. Hey, Nick. I'm glad I asked you to be my lawyer. Really, I am. Thanks. Hope that made him feel a little better. Right? I hope you see the importance <laughs> of evidence now. now that know, that's your whole job. Some lawyers don't care, but... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> also, hopefully you realize things change depending on how you look at them. Obviously, people too. We never really know if our clients are guilty or innocent. All we can do is believe in them. And in order to believe in them, you have to believe in yourself. Aw. Right? Listen. Learn. Grow strong. Never let go of what you believe in. Never. She's a good boss. She is. She is. Well, I think our work here is done. Shall we be off to my apartment now? So <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I guess so. Say, See? how about dinner <laughs> on me? Wink, wink. We'll drink a toast. <laughs> we'll drink a toast to innocent butts. <laughs> innocent virgin butts. <laughs> yeah. He's excited. Oh, speaking of Harry. She can't learn his name. <laughs> you were saying part of why you became a lawyer was because of him. Uh, yeah, part at least. You'll have to tell me more about it sometime. Maybe over... See, she's drinks? directly hitting on him. Yeah, yeah. she is. <laughs> yeah. She's like, yeah? And so, my first trial came to a close. Larry slapped me on the back and said, Gee, Nick, it's good to have friends. But I'm pretty sure he's not going to pay us, unless you count the clock he gave Mia. Pro bono. Works on what? contingency. <laughs> no money down. <laughs> I didn't know it then, but that clock was going to be the center of another incident. Oh my god. And my promise to tell the chief Fucking about lock. me and Larry would be the one promise that I wouldn't be able to keep. No. The end. That sounds so ominous. What's going to happen? Is 